This is Brindle Heath in Salford, where I was born and brought up, and it's where all my family are from. It's also the place where they filmed A Taste of Honey in the early 1960s, and the director wanted a couple of street urchins to be in the film, and he saw me and my brother playing in the street, asked my mum if we could be in the film, and uh, being the proud working class woman that she is, she made absolutely sure that we had our best clothes on and we were all scrubbed up. So if you ever see a taste of honey, right at the beginning, then you'll see two of the best dressed urchins that you're ever likely to see. But it's also the kind of place where, growing up in the 50s and 60s, everybody knew everything about everybody else. There was a real sense of communities working together. And also a sense that if you worked hard, actually everything was in your grasp, everything was within reach. And I think that what really made me join the Labour Party, and for thousands of us out there, was this sense that if you wanted to get on, it shouldn't matter what kind of background you came from, it shouldn't matter what kind of advantages you might have had, but every single person should have the chance to do well. And that's why I think having you know, a really good education system the chance for youngsters to stay on into further education, to think about university, to think about all the things that they could be, it's really, really precious to all of us. And I'm just absolutely determined that everybody, no matter what kind of background they come from, you know, we should redouble our efforts to, to tackle poverty, to give people opportunities, and to feed that sense of ambition and aspiration, not just for individuals, but for whole communities because I think every single one of us knows that out there, there are youngsters who still don't get a chance. People who could do fantastic things if they only had the kind of support that I had when I was growing up. This is St Thomas's Church here in Pendleton and it's just celebrating its 150th anniversary. And recently it's got a new vicar and he's really brought a breath of fresh air. He's trying to establish a community cafe. He's looking to raise some money at the moment for this. And he's also just organised quite a lot of the young lads into a few football teams. And in the past, there was quite a lot of antisocial behaviour here, quite a lot of vandalism and graffiti, and the church was broken into quite a few times. But since he's got the lads organised, then they're much more keen on playing football, and it's really positive. And for me, this is a, a really good example of when the church comes together with local people in the community. You really can make a positive difference. It doesn't cost a fortune. It just takes really good people to be prepared to put that extra bit of work in. And it's really helping the whole area just have a better sense of what it's like to live here. Here we are in Langwithy, right at the heart of one of the regeneration areas in Salford. Ten years ago, this was a really tough place for people to live. Lots of unemployment, drugs, family breakdown, and really people in quite desperate circumstances. And over the last few years, because of a Labour government and a Labour council working together with local people, there's been a complete transformation. Here at the Cornerstone Community Centre, we've now got a Sure Start Centre, we've got um, a community cafe, uh, we've got childcare facilities, and all of this is run by local people themselves, making sure that we address their priorities. And what we've also got here is a community that's got a new sense of pride. And just last year, we actually won the National Britain in Bloom competition here in the inner city of Salford. Uh, it normally goes to a twee village in the Cotswolds, but it just shows you what can be done. This is the other face of Salford, down at Salford Quays, with the Lowry Arts Centre, the Imperial War Museum for the North, incredible transformation in recent years. There are now more people working here than when it was in its heyday as Salford Docks. And for me, this is a symbol of what Labour's been able to achieve over the last 10 years, but it's also about where we have to go in the future. We have to make sure that we're investing in science, technology, innovation, to make sure that we get those jobs of the future. The challenges out there for us, from China, from India, from all of that new technology, and unless we take the steps now to make sure that our young people have got the skills, but also that we are looking to the future and exploiting all the things that we're good at in this country, then we're not going to be able to compete in that future economy. I'm confident that we can do this, because I've seen in my own city 
the change that can be brought about with good leadership, a Labour government, a Labour council, dreams and imagination and a real desire to make change happen.